I don't even know if I can put this in the vlog. Just turned hottest free agent in the world. We're back. The vlog's back. It's been a minute. It's been probably close to a year now. So I, I laid back on the content because I was just focused on the grind. But here we are. We're back. We're in Dublin. Uh, we're gonna vlog the whole weekend. Thursday night. We'll do our weight cut Friday morning. Weigh in Friday morning. We'll get our Nando's. All that good shit. Let the hands go Nando's. <laughs> all that good food. And, and then it's fight day, baby. We're gonna be in backstage. Justin, hopefully. And... Just make sure you're hiding your camera, you know what I'm saying? But oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> we're gonna get some good shit behind the scenes. I'm gonna knock this guy out in the first, and then we're gonna see what the what the world presents to me after that. It's very, very exciting. Uh, very exciting times. Feeling good, feeling grateful, and happy to be back in the vlog again. Let's go. Pop, boom! My name's Paul Hughes, my fight nickname is Big News, and I fight out of Fight Academy in Belfast. That could be an intro to her vlog. <laughs> in my last fight, I fought Jan Quay Higgins, the number one contender at lightweight. This was my first fight at a new weight class, and I won my first round KO. How I see this fight going is utter violence on my behalf. I am not going to give this guy a single inch from the get-go, and I'm going to let him know that I'm on a completely different wavelength than he is. Jan Quay Higgins was my first fight in Ireland in about three years, so it was extra special for me to be able to share that victory with my home people. Perfect. And uh, what, where'd you go from here after this fight? After this fight, I'm gonna sign to one of the biggest organizations in the world. I said, perfect, do <coughs> Just like that, easy. <laughs> easy peasy. Ah, Drop. Drop. Yeah. Because if my feet get cold, then they don't warm up again. Ever. That's it, they, if they're cold, that's it. <laughs> I put five pairs of socks on and they'll not warm up. I have to go into the shower, put the shower head on my feet to get Fuck. warm. Yeah. Do you get the white towel to... It, they don't even go white, they're just cold. Yeah. That's oh, what I need, like yeah. a foot bath on. on the the foot spy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need. I'm gonna request that every single time I play from now on. <laughs> I need a foot spot <laughs> for the evenings, all right? The small print. I'll come get my nice foot spot. <laughs> <laughs> you might get him doing that with the flag, Was it in Italy? Or something, I don't know. He'd been it, like one of the guys was fighting an Italian guy. And we were doing the team photo, and he just went like this here, and he just fucking whipped down his fucking trousers. And he's wearing like an Italian flag, but like a cock and balls drawn in the front. That's enough to say. <laughs> Get me back in here, Mr. Dean. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so in the, they had the behind scenes video, and they blurred it out. Yeah. So because they blurred it so much, people thought he actually had his cock out. <laughs> I was doing a pH and yeah, just doing, doing something. Is that your signature? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've only just realised. So simple but so effective. Coming up to 7 pm here. We've got we've done the TV stuff, the production, it's all done. We'll uh, we'll chill out man, we'll chill out and I'll probably do a Tesco shop later on. Get my goodies for tomorrow post weigh ins, you know. Can't go too crazy this time because I haven't cut that much I'm not too depleted so I'll, I'll try to be good um, I remember my last way in Quay Higgins nice guy but I remember like just getting in his face at the way in and just going you look old <laughs> <laughs> He's wrapped up and also I can bring the wee temperature gauge down if you want to check your uh, back. I bring it down please. Where are you from? But just a cycle path in general. Fermanagh. Fermanagh. Kind of Fermanagh, yeah. He's a big, he's a big culture too, Pass from Newcastle. Aye. Ah, no. So you got County Derry, ah, County Down and fucking County Armagh here. Justin's a big culture, so he is, but alright Justin. No way. <laughs> <laughs> what are we getting up to today? Oh uh, brother, 7.30am, this is... The easiest, most relaxed wake up morning I've ever had in my life. I just woke up after about seven hours, kept on and off a wee bit, you know. So you're still very depleted, so it's hard to get a full sleep. But I mean, I've literally 0.5 a kilo to do the bath. Easiest thing ever. If I hadn't had that fucking fetus stuff last night, along with some of your lovely flavoured water, I'd be on weight, like, you know. But nice, got a wee, wee bit of a snack last night before going to sleep. A few sweeties, a few. Few, uh, few bits of pure sugar and some fruit and some water for night four way in. Can't complain, like. <laughs> this is a bollocks that people don't see about cutting weight. Sometimes the bath doesn't get warm enough, 
So you have to literally boil the kettle for hours and someone has to keep pouring it in on you. And then, sir, do you remember Shando that time? I'll never forget. <laughs> Fuck me in the bath, cutting weight, making featherweight, dying. Shando gets the kettle, pours it on my leg. <laughs> pours it on my leg, absolutely. And then. And then you shouted at him and then he shouted at you for shouting at him. <laughs> and I said, fuck me, give him a break. He just fucking scalded him with boiling water. He just put him boiling water in his leg. The Wake Up Chronicles. <laughs> so now we have to get high. That will be hotter than, than the water. Tap water, which is slightly hotter. Into the bin and into the bath. Hey, Genie. Hey, Genie. I'm just gonna bathe in this nice clean water for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> oh. I call staying with Paul the Paul Hughes Chronicles. So it started off when I walked in. So I had just started wake up with Scott. So I was down in his room obviously in daylight, it, you know, lights on. Um, doing the wake up and then I came down in the Paul's room and he was in here on his own. Wearing my hat and lying in the dark. And when I come in and turn the lights on, he says, whoa, 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 no lights on. This is a no light zone. So I thought, right, happy day. So I continued to walk around in the dark to get sorted. And then he went on to tell me how he had drank my water. <laughs> and then how I had to go to the shop the next day. So I went on to contact Joe McCoggan and tell him that it's as we expected it would be. Hard work. <laughs> See, what the actual joke is, Justin that I'm actually so easy going and I'm so good at cutting weight that you don't even need to worry. Every time I cut weight, even if it's featherweight back in the day, I would get in the bath, get it up to the temperature, I would sit in the bath and I would not get out until I was on weight. While these fat bastards went down to breakfast every single day. And then I'd be calling them, I'd be like, right, I need to get out, I'm on weight. And they were being nowhere I could get through to him and be sitting, he'd be getting his fourth plate of breakfast, his fourth round, eggs, bacon, sausages, fucking toast, fourth round, oh that's hot, and I'd be like, right lads, I'm finished calling me there, I need you to just come get me out of the bath, so I don't feel like getting out of the bath, and then they come up about 15 minutes later while I've cut already too much with them, <laughs> and then they'll go back down to breakfast. This is your last case warriors fight? This is my last fight of my Cage Warriors game. So if you had one one memory from Cage Warriors. Oh your one best memory. One memory from Cage Warriors. It, it, it's gotta be one in the belt the first time. It's gotta be one in the belt against Charlie A in London in the York Hall. Because, you know, twenty four years old, a young pretty young kid, just coming off a two year injury layoff, like started fighting professionally in nineteen believed fully that I was going to be UFC World Champion by 24 and like truly that's what I believe. The injuries held me back and I was like right, I've got to get this world title on Cage Warriors because that's what's going to be my ticket to set myself up for my career. And I came back and I was living in Australia at the time, I got a year there while I was rehabbing an injury and I came back and I was like right, it's time, you've waited, you've done the rehab, you've done everything you needed to do, you've stayed true to the path. You stay disciplined whenever you didn't have to. Nobody cared. Nobody believed in what I had to say. Nobody believed that I could be a world champion. No, like after all the injuries, yes, I had potential, but like all the injuries, all the time off, you could easily just go back into your normal life of working, making money in Australia, making good money. If you're working in construction, it's it's nice. It's a lot of work, but you make a nice packet, and then you've got your weekend. It's a beautiful place. Got a girlfriend. All these things. You just set yourself up for a nice and easy life, you know, a comfortable life, a normal civilian life, which there's nothing wrong with. But I truly, truly believe in destined for greatness. Like, um, when I came home from Australia, my every ounce of my being went into fighting. Joined Fight Academy full time in Belfast, moved to Belfast, and within two years, I was champion of the world, you know. So that was that was absolutely the career high. Now I've had the the Vichenic fights rematch was also such a high, but. I don't think anything beats getting that belt wrapped down your waist for the first time. In fact, the second time it gets me challenged, I really didn't care about the belt. I really, genuinely didn't really care. I cared about beating the challenge and unifying per se and, and letting everybody know I'm the best. I've beat absolutely everybody. I've rematched and beat him. I'm essentially 11 and 0 right now. But yeah, long with the answer, but I'll play answers to the question. Sit here for a second.
just in case a lot of people have been known to faint getting out of baths. Fuck, I'm a nice wee colour, a Florida tan, done me alright. So a shame, you were mahogany in the bed. I definitely wasn't doing no some beds when I get back here. <laughs> oh, God, the traders, these uh, t shirts are nice, sir. Oh, no, I'm probably about to the next one. Yeah. This guy wears his USC kit everywhere. Uh, Everything's free. I'll just wear whatever I can get. Um, come here, let me see the size. Look how much different size are we on. Huh? We used to be the same height, you know? Now I'm up the lightweight and fucking. Got a lot of extra inches on my head. Head's getting bigger, that's Head's getting bigger, that's it. All these weed cuts are making his head expand. One thirty-five point six for Thomas. Where's that man? <laughs> Next up on the scales is opponent Paul Hughes. One fifty-nine point two for Hughes. Fabiano Silva versus Paul Hughes, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, we have our main event. Five rounds. Looks like a wee bastard, doesn't it? Oh, right. Getting on the scales there, I was like, them boys beside me were like, size of that man, and I was like, I have to fight him. So, <laughs> for another half hour. Once with the boys, whatever, and then we're going to hit it with the boys. Give her a happy, give her a happy. Give her a happy, bro. You enjoy your fucking yeah. refill. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy it, bro. Right. Right. Your time, bro. Your time. <laughs> 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 Right, I've seen a bit, Matt. Yes, see you in a bit. Be good. Don't go do anything crazy. That's <laughs> Matt, he's probably in there with a fucking... He's probably sacrificing some animals or something. Yeah. That's good luck. Way to be a confederate flag. Ben's <laughs> <laughs> done. Wayne's done, baby. Cheers to the big laugh for going out and doing the, the Lucas Aid run. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Everyone's good. I mean, as we, as I said already, barely any of a weight cut, so... It's, I've just got to keep the discipline now, there's no pigging out at all before this fight. Usually when you do a big weight cut you can afford to like get the salt and carbs and sugar in so you can let the hands go a little bit with the food. But nah, i got to be super disciplined here until tomorrow and then me and Pat will eat uh, about five packets of Sour Patch Kids between us tomorrow night after we win. Alright coach? Oh, that's the celebration. Huh? I have some. Dead early with Sour Patch. But he's just, he sniffed them out already, I had some <laughs> hidden away and I knew I need to keep these away from him. He sniffed them out already so I need to find a new hiding spot <laughs> so he doesn't eat them before, you know. I can't have anything until tomorrow. Like people don't understand these mental battles that happen in fights and what win and loses fights is like literally some of the first exchanges if I just crack him a few good ones and eat and make him miss and just go, nope, not a chance, like super confident, that's enough to break someone and go, fuck I'm not winning here tonight. <laughs> and then it gets to the second round or the end of the first and they're like, they eat a big shot and they're like, fuck this. <laughs> the king of the mental game, literally nobody does it like me. Um, prediction, first round knockout. Really Cue first? the first round knockout. <laughs> Two people said to me, I've seen the vlogs. I've seen the yeah. vlogs when we were UKFC. Yeah. Uh, four or five people said yeah. that. That's it, the vlogs. People love the vlogs. I love them too, man. I just was slacking there, to be honest. I was very much focused on just the one thing of getting better, being the best in the world. And that's what I've continued to do, but it's good to get everyone back into the inside end of my life. And yeah, it's fucking no holds barred. You ask me any question, I'll answer it. And give people back. What do you think of <laughs> What I think of <laughs> Love him. We'll blur that. Love him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I can put this in the vlog. I'm not even hits it before a fight. I can never just get in the bed at every time. <laughs> Bambino's a fucking such a good such a good spot. You gotta let the hands go. I didn't even cut with it, but I'm still having the pizza. Mm. Oh. 
The best thing about that was we get to go to Nando's right away. Round one over. Ten nine round to me. Second round Nando's. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Yeah. Going for the knockout. Better <laughs> <laughs> get round two in now. There's gonna be no round two tomorrow night. Any of the boys. I'm afraid to touch your seats. <laughs> 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 there's, like, uh, like, there's a camera goes on them that I can see both of you with half my skin when you affect your test levels. Affect your test levels. Whatever the fuck you call the phone, his passport expired on 9 11 2020 or 2001, which is 9 11. And the film's called The Matrix. I think the film's about fucking the whole Matrix. Like. If I had to see it, this thing is like. No, Matthew, I think it's very smart. I was like, Satanist oh, believe in this thing. Sorry, sorry. Thank, Thank you, my man. man. Sorry, sorry. I'm going to have mine as well. Yeah, they are. Let's go. Cool. 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 Enjoy the ride. Mine as well. Do you see what you want? Chips are hard to whack, aren't they? Red. Fucking hard to whack. You can't have anything until tomorrow. What are you going for tomorrow after the fight? <laughs> Friday rap baby, fucking amazing day, easy way cut, just good crack with the boys, haven't seen Pat in a couple of weeks, so we just caught up most of the day, good fun as always, um, we just hit two rounds of the food, Bambino first, Nando second, let the hands go, um, um, um. got some friends that are flying in from like America and some places, so I'm gonna go meet them here, real quick, say hello, and and home chill out, we cut the tea in the bed and then do a little workout in the morning, get the body ready and that's us, it's fight day baby, so see us tomorrow He's away in the day and then we get to the warm up room bit of Afro beats, bit of fucking UK rap Let's go I see the sun lost all his power just in the ring He lost all his power The fellowship System, a well oiled machine. We've been doing this shit. World titles, big nights, we always come out on top. And it's because of these lads here, it's because of our system, it's because of everything we built. Look at that, like clockwork. Done, warm up, fight night. Let's fucking go. <sighs> what did I tell you about them, lads? Jesus Christ. Headers? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolute header, so literally Shandal, Pat, two funnest people on the planet. And then Joe, it's just great Joe having Joe here because we can just take the absolute piss out of him. <laughs> That's why he's here. That's the only sole reason. Team morale. Take a piss out of Joe We're gonna go, Paul's gonna take us through the walkout area. So we've been in the changing rooms, done the medicals, seen where seen our kind of spots, a different arena than last time actually. Same bit same area but different arena or different whatever building. Paul's gonna take us through the walkout here so I can get in the zone, visualize, know exactly where I'm going for later on. Get a feel of the cage, get the feet in there. Feel the energy. There you go. It. It's time to go. It's time to go. And when we go up there, it's turning left.
the sort of so sure of themselves when that cage door was. Well, tell you what, my knee's sore from the end of my head. <laughs> nah, man, look. I'm the best in the world. I'm the best in the world. Hottest prospect in MMA. Just turned hottest free agent in MMA. That's the line, that's the story. Life's good. I'm very, very blessed and very, very grateful to live these nights, you know. Um, like a fucking. Where am I fucking. Brian Curtis jersey, you know? That's. That puts things in perspective for me, you know, being able to be out here and to go chase my dreams still and to be able to do that, um, I'm unbelievably best. So expect to see Paul Hughes again soon? Big news is back. I, I want four fights this year, that's number one. I want, I, I want to be so active, man. I didn't get touched. I, 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 need, I need to start capitalising on this game. I've had to wait for so long. I've been so fucking patient. I've been so patient. <laughs> The most patient, <laughs> I can't even describe how long I've had to wait for this while other people move on, you know, go on to big things, make a lot of money while I'm stuck here waiting for my opportunities, patiently waiting, staying in the grind, staying in the fucking grindstone, lonely, tired, fucking hard, hard, hard life, hard, hard, hard grind, and I've stayed true to the path, and here we are, another win. I need to keep moving. I need to keep moving. I'm not satisfied in any way. I, I'm not satisfied till I've got Millie's in the bank. My man and I have a house in Donegal and I'm set for life. Then I'm satisfied. And then I move on to something else, you know, but I haven't even started in this game. I truly have not fucking started. And yeah, that's how I'm feeling right now. How good does it feel to get that wrapped around your first time? Dude, it doesn't even... Stop, stop would you? No, no, it's... Stop. I swear to God, it's... Stop my face. <laughs> you're still cute. No, that's amazing. Who's that? That is you. Did you just ask Paul? Uh, I said one of the vlogs came back and clearly they're back. They're back, baby. They're back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> they're back, baby. <laughs> this guy oh, saved the show. He saved my career in a lot of ways. Don't get injured. Just like relax. Oh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Packets of them do, you the fat the bastard. Fuck you, you said you never eat. Hi, Pat. There he is. The camera's <laughs> on now. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Joe McCollin. He's a compass. Two fat bastards. Chandler's the only one that's actually got a good diet here. Uh, is Leading he by fucked? example. Is he fucked? Leading by example. Give me an example. What do you mean? He runs half marathon every day. Eating. He never stopped eating. He never stopped shitting on holiday. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he never stopped shitting. I didn't. I didn't. I, 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 I hear. Do you know what he said to me? He's like, we're going to stop at McDonald's on the way back. No, I, 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 you, I, believe I, that. I you believe that? You believe that? A successful yeah. night. The love vlog ain't finished yet. We got to get back to the hotel, see the boys, Three get changed three. up. Three for three for the boys, for Fight Academy. It's how we do, lads. It's how we do. We're putting in the work. We're the best gym in Ireland. And I'm happy to be leading the charge. You know, I'm, I'm blessed of the boys behind me. You know, we're brothers. The definition of brothers from, from way back, you know. So, yeah, it's good. Feeling good, feeling grateful.
and I'm from the vent machine. Here they are. What an optic. What an optic. Yeah, really good. Me, literally, like, I'm so smart. Come on. Is that, right, you, is that like pop and cars, isn't it? Did you just tap your... I'm caught again. You tap your car? I know, Shando's getting the Coke Zeros in here. This is, uh... Actually... That was such a fun... Get Joe, not a Joe! Get Joe! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear him, there was him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take him out. He's here! Anything for you? Ice in the knee, some water, get some fruit when I get back, you know, because I'm an athlete, unlike these guys, fuck's sake. So, what are you doing for the celebration tonight? Uh, we're going to the Coke Zero Cafe. Yeah, 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 we're going to the Coke Zero Cafe. Golden crisp. That's it. I'll Watch wake up, the fade, wake up in the morning, crisp. Pat McAllister would be lying there in the fucking other bed. It'd be like all these Sweet rappers beside him. Yeah. He'd be like, <laughs> on the way to breakfast. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> right, lads. Peace out. Yeah, I'll see you later. Yeah. Right, right, baby. We're getting a wee bit. Oh, yeah. Come on, the anger. I need that. Thank you, coach. Enjoy your shopping, mate. What can you tell us about your corner cam footage tonight, Patrick? Oh my god, let me see this. Number one, here. Hmm. Absolutely awful. And then, I said to myself, under no circumstances am I going to sit near that camera again. Cue the next one. Let me see the second one. <laughs> Straight away into the fight group. Oh, that like I got sent that about hilarious. 20 times. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> It's all good, isn't it? Like? It's all good. Job done, boys. Job done. Such a great day. Great workout earlier. We chill walk, got a bougie. It was a bougie that done it, I think. Straight in, no kissing. Got the job done. Let's go, move on. We're heading out there. Not often we go out after a fight. In fact, we never ever do. One pack. I have spare no clothes. Your fucking five minutes away from the bar, we're gonna go say hello to all the squad. I have loads of people coming in yes. from everywhere around the world. Not everywhere around the world. America, fucking Europe. Just so I gotta see them all. Moves. Usually we don't. Usually it's just fight night. It's team night. We just chill, take it easy. But tonight we're in Dublin's fair city, and we're gonna go see the boys. Go fucking wild. <laughs> <laughs> Going to see the boys. We don't often get to do this. Not right, Pat. It's it. Usually we be we four boys. Big guys go in to the uh, to the hotel and chill and do fuck all. But we're gonna go see the boys tonight because we're in Dublin. Yeah, man. Hundred percent. This is Pat McAllister's worst nightmare. Literally, Homer Simpson into the head. <laughs> Socialising at best, never mind 3 am and dumping the streets of Dublin. Meeting all my mates that are absolutely blocked. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Cunts. But then they had to get fired. Yes. Like, fuck. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like, he didn't even like the job, so it's okay. Yeah, I got fired a long time ago, too. Second bye. I can't have anything until tomorrow. Hey, Roddy's gay. Roddy is gay. Roddy, Roddy is gay. Roddy, you're not Roddy's straight. Uh, I have no comment, Roddy. I haven't met you. I have no, no comment. I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. You're gonna come in here and dress like that. You won't fucking out, go on, out, 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 out. You won't give us a jig. Look, that's it, dog. We're back. I fucking. I hope you all enjoyed it. I gas. I get asked all the time. He got asked loads last night. When's the vlogs coming back? Well, we're back. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope that was some good insight. We got more cooking up for sure. Um, we got to keep this momentum going. I've got such a such an important, busy year ahead, an exciting year ahead. So I'm gonna take us all along the journey, like I did back in the day. And it's all good. It's exciting. Let's go. Mm.